This has been going on amazingly for eight years. We were hoping that it might work for a year, and uh, it's lasted for, for eight, and it's still going. So I guess that's uh, tantamount to a miracle, if you put it in biblical terms. The event is Poetry Aloud and Alive. Uh, it's basically a, um, a, we have a featured reader and we have an open mic. On the freedom that splayed feathers pumping could purchase, bound down to earth, I was flightless within, where I housed the sting of isolation amidst every sign to the contrary. A lot of venues, sad to say, people come because they have their poetry and basically they come to the venue and endure the program so that they can have their, <laughs> their turn to speak. But I don't feel like it's that way here. I feel like people are really genuinely listening to each other and it, it's just, uh, it, it makes for, for, for such a, a, a wonderful uh, atmosphere. The featured reader reads for a half an hour. For the most part, they're published poets and also for the most part, accomplished uh, presenting poets who have made presentations elsewhere. And then uh, we usually start at where the, wherever the featured reader is, is sitting and go to their left or right, whoever's ready will start, and then we just go around the room from there. The diversity and the variety is very well accepted here. That's the thing, you, you can't come here expecting a specific type of poetry or a specific type of art. You, uh, you have to be open to what happens. Do I stand to fight or to defend her? Do I stand to forgive or to apologize? But the group accepts with a poetic esprit de corps whether you ascend or whether you come via the back door. Then make way to the circle. You're a valued member for sure. Welcomed, respected as the night unfolds and the does. fog rolls and swirls round us all who look for light and sometimes think we see, so boldly claim to own truth, but never know for sure. Yet in us rests a bit of stuff that, touched by warmth, stirs, struck by light, wakes, licked by fire, ignites. There's a whole different dynamic when you arrange an audience in a circle than when you have rows of people um, lined up. Uh, there's a lot more interaction, there's a lot more opportunity for interaction. People feel a lot freer to, uh, to speak out a little bit and uh, uh, it, it gives a lot more face-to-face -face, uh, interaction and opportunity for interaction. The bookstore is the Big Blue Marble Bookstore, which uh, they've been very gracious to allow us to have this event every fourth Friday for uh, for eight years. It starts at uh, 7.15 and we're usually done by about about nine and people keep milling around because people are very friendly here and hospitable but we get a lot of people who come from uh, pretty good distances from uh, media near Westchester but for the most part it's neighborhood people. A lot of times uh, people get excited about something and then other things come along and it fizzles out and they stop. And that has happened with many people. We had pe we've had people who have been regulars for a while and then they drop off. But then other people come and become regulars for a while. I, mean, I hardly have to do anything, basically. It's a very easy event to host because you don't have to uh, prod people into saying something. I mean, there's always, there's always interesting conversation going on. Uh, sometimes I feel like even if I didn't get the event started, People could make an evening of it with, <laughs> without me, without the featured reader. It just, uh, just the ambiance of the place seems to, to keep things going.